What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we have this heavily modified BMW 328i in the shop because the owner daily drives this vehicle and his stainless steel exhaust tips have a heavy accumulation of carbon and all kinds of nasty brown stuff. Now this is something that happens to stock tips, stainless steel, chrome, uh, any vehicle that has straight pipes or catalyst exhaust, or if you have a turbo or diesel, all that kind of carbon buildup stains the chrome, stains that beautiful polished finish, and then over time it can actually corrode and pit it and permanently stain it. So today we're going to show you how to properly clean it and restore that shine. Now to begin we need to clean the area. You see that I've already taped off the textured plastic trim pieces because we don't want to stain it with a cleaner or with our polish today. So just some precautions here, just using some regular painter's tape. That's a great way to keep it from getting stained. And now we're going to be using some Nonsense, which has been diluted 10 to 1 just for our light cleaning job today. You can use a quick detail spray, a waterless wash, anything to basically knock down the carbon. So now I'll take a clean microfiber towel and wipe away the excess and also the spent clear. I'm giving it a moment kind of to saturate and pick up any of the abrasive particles because not only is your exhaust tips exposed to the carbon or any other kind of exhaust material, but also to road debris or anything else that could collect on the surface. You can see just by wiping it down, it looks nice and shiny on the outside, just by picking up the light layer. Go inside of here and wipe away any excess. Before we polish it, this way we're not staining our polishing equipment and we're also not making a mess. Like I was saying though, you can see that just by wiping it down, it looks a lot better. But even inside of the barrel here, you can see that there's still some light staining, some pitting, and that's what we're going to remove today using our light metal polish and the ball buster. Now it's important to have something that cleans away as much of the abrasive particles or something that foams up to kind of help you lubricate the surface so you're not scratching it. Because on a finish like this, you don't want to add any kind of, you know, inorganic scratches or something that it's very noticeable. So the foam helps to lift and separate any of the abrasive particles so you can gently wipe it away. Now we'll grab our ball buster, which I've already attached to a regular drill. You can use a battery operated or a wireless cordless, I mean. And uh, basically what this is doing is it's going to take the polishing action, instead of doing it by hand, this is going to rotisserie style polish the inside of the exhaust tip. And now we'll add a little bit of light metal polish, which is basically a chemical cleaner. If you have abrasive or if you have rust spots, you can use a uh, more abrasive cleaner such as heavy metal polish. And what light metal polish is going to do is it's just going to gently remove any of the surface stains, any kind of oxidation, without using any abrasives. I'll just apply some to the ball buster here. One line ought to be enough to get started. And now we'll just place it inside of the exhaust tip and kind of spread it out and then gently polish it until we've realized that we've got the stain removed and then we'll wipe it off and we can check our work. Well guys, there you have it. You see the ball buster did a tremendous job of removing the brown staining as well as any kind of oxidation very easily and very quickly. This is a lot faster than doing it by hand and also it's a lot safer because now you're not putting your hand inside of an exhaust tip where you can potentially cut yourself or get your hand trapped in there because this conforms to any shape, basically goes all the way to the back for as far as your eye can see, so removing any kind of that brown staining and making it look its best. And also this attaches to any kind of drill and also has this safety sleeve so you're not blistering or burning your hand on the shaft while it's actually rotating. Now the light metal polish is something that removes any kind of stains or oxidation or maybe even light rust from anything that's chrome, stainless, polished, or anything that's basically shiny that you want to restore shine to. It also adds a protective layer to help enhance that shine for as long as possible. But to protect it and to really bring out the gloss, we're going to add a layer of Jet Seal, which adds, again, a protective layer for up to 12 months against oxidation, water spots, carbon staining, or anything else that can actually harm the finish. Now I'm going to apply that. In the meantime, you guys can head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, and check out these products for yourself. If you like this car or if you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment down below, like this video. You guys get out there in the garage, detail your cars this weekend, and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.